Listen in and join the fun. Learning as we go, new words and stories. Adventures begun. Let's open up the pages. Don't have far to look. It's all in a book. Rupees. Reading room. Rupees. Why, hello, little readers. Welcome to Ruthie's Reading Room. I'm Ruthie, and this is my buddy, Ja. He's my favorite stuffy, and he's joining us for story time today. Are we all excited for another book? Yeah? Awesome. So I'm going to ask, if you're not already there with your stuffy and a reading buddy, I'm going to ask you to run and go get your stuffy or blankie, bring along a friend to share this story today. Run and come back now. All right, I see my little readers are coming on back and I see, oh, oh my goodness. Is that a whole class reading together? Yes, hello, oh my goodness. That's awesome. That's a grade three class, isn't it? I'm so happy you joined us. All right, let's ask the question. Let's ask it together, okay? Which book is coming off the shelf next? Let's see. Okay, what do we see? This book is called The Hero in the Helmet, Colin Kaepernick. This book was written by Joa McNally and illustrated by Adwa Hernandez. Now look at the front cover. I love looking at the cover. It gives us a hint about what the story might be about, right? Okay, so we have a football player right up front and look at all the crowd behind him. Yeah, really cool. A lot of people watching. Okay, so how do we find out more about the book? We got to read the book. All right, so let's see if you're ready. Jaw is going to join you guys. And we're going to put our listening ears on and put our hands in our lap. And we're going to quiet down. Shh. And let me check on all of you. Okay, all right. I see all my friends are settling in and ready to hear this story. And trust me, it's a good one. Remember, listen from beginning to end, and, and there might be some new learning or a refresher for some of you. All right. So something I want to note, I've read a book about Mr. Colin Kaepernick before. Do you guys remember? It was way back at the beginning of the year. So it's going to be cool to read another book by an author who thought, it's important to get Colin Kaepernick's story out. Let's dive in. Gather around, children. Let me tell you a story of an icon, of a hero, of a man treated poorly, who for the sake of equality picked up his cross to bring darkness to the light despite what it cost. In the year 1987, on November 3rd, a legend was born among us a leader emerged. His stance on social justice challenged our nation's politics. This is the true American story of Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to two teenage parents with no means to keep him. Miss Russo, his mother, bravely put him up for adoption. It weighed on her heart, but she knew it was the right option. Although biracial, Half black and half white, his new parents embraced him. They loved him despite. They raised him with love and plenty of faith, placing him in his calling at the young age of eight. Cap was a three-sport athlete and a natural success, adamant about football, though he played baseball best. He went on to play for the University of Nevada Wolfpack, earning his position there as the team's leading quarterback. Cap was drafted by the 49ers at age 25, and he shined in the moment his dream came alive. He helped his team reach the championships and thrive, not before long feeling affected by the treatment of black lives. Trayvon Martin, Freddie Gray, black men mercilessly shot and slain, 
Philando Castillo, Michael Brown, white silence, not a sound. Terrence Crutcher, Tamir Rice, is this white man's paradise? Police officers using brutal force, all lives matter, but no remorse. With more lives taken and police paid leave, Colin Kaepernick took a knee, a sign of protest against inequality. He shined the light on police brutality. Half of the nation became outraged. Just play ball, that's why you get paid. They bullied and boycotted Cap, but they couldn't silence him. Not when police murders translated to unjust rulings that financed them. He pushed through the ridicule, holding high his standards, singing a new song of freedom and not the Star Spangled Banner. Cap's refusal to conform sadly cost him a great deal. Freedom of speech, just as long as you don't kneel. Military veterans died for that flag, the mass argued, shouting insults followed by loud echoing boos. Look, they look very angry, don't they? The President of the United States joined in the name calling, using very bad words that are far too appalling. He demanded that peaceful protesters be kicked off the team in a democracy in the land of the free. In the end, they suspended Cap from the Football League, but he selflessly used his platform and continued to speak. Right, little readers? When you have an important message, you should never be silenced. He made clear that his stance on racial injustice was bigger than sports. It's about police accountability for wrongful murders in court. And in, the, in the picture you see a judge say not guilty. That's representing all the, all the unjust rulings that have happened when black people have been hurt or murdered by, by police unjust actions. It's about black and brown citizens enjoying American rights in the same way pale faces do without having to fight. It's about the same biased laws used to protect white crimes is the same biased laws used to assign blacks time. And what is it talking about there? Does anyone know? Yeah, jail time. Many black people who are accused and convicted of crimes, they get much longer jail time than their white counterpart, which means a white person who's committed the same crime. It is about the stereotypes America uses on blacks without ever doing research and checking the facts. It is about using excuses to justify hate. This is not how we make America great. African Americans are lazy. Make America great again. Build a wall. These are all the things that the former president were saying. It is about calling the black man a thug and the brown man a terrorist while the white serial killer is troubled and mentally sick. It's about why parents are forced to have racial talks with their kids and why black fathers are occupying prisons doing maximum bids. And if these issues get too uncomfortable to discuss, imagine for a second what it's like to be us. Ignoring racism doesn't make it disappear. It's time America faces its fears. And I'll add for Canada as well. And in this game where Colin Kaepernick is around a card table, what is the guy next to him saying? He's pulling the race card again. But is that fair? No. For black lives, this is our every day. Black and brown citizens are as much American as anyone else. And America is great because of our health. Immigrants make up this land, your ancestors and mine too. And for the record, we are home. There's no place to go back to. So here's to the hero in the helmet, the chosen one. Your work on earth has surely been done. And if ever you're wondering what makes him a hero, he denied himself to live above the status quo. And we the people say it's time America takes a knee for you, the black man, the brown man, the Asian, the Jew, to acknowledge the work that you have done to bring all people together as one. Finally, thank you, Cap, for doing what's right. You have started a revolution worldwide. We understand all that you sacrificed and gave. In you is the land of the free and the home of the brave. The end. That was an awesome book. And all my little readers who join in every story time in Ruthie's Reading Room know how I love a story that upholds the rights of all people, and especially black and brown people. 
it's very close to my heart. So I thank you so much for joining us in Rufi's Reading Room. Ja and I enjoyed sharing this story with you. And just to note that this is a true story. This is what's really happening. So we appreciate you joining us. Don't forget to check in the description below to find the link where you can purchase this book. And remember, the best place to read is wherever you are with a book. And if you enjoy reading with us, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. We can't wait to read with you next time. Happy reading, little readers. Goodbye. Ruthie's read it.